the men's 100 meter backstroke fight. The 10 person field will be starting out. We'll introduce them from lane nine back up to lane number zero. I'll repeat once again for everyone. This is a 10 lane pool. A lot of international races are usually only competed in eight lanes. So then you would drop lane zero and nine and you have one through eight. That's sort of the logic behind it. But from Canada decided to go with all 10 lanes for this Olympic trials. The first one to be introduced is going to be Hugh McNeil. He'll be in lane number nine. 18 years of age out of Langley, B.C. Set a PB in the heats. 56-34. There he is. We were looking at that earlier, Rob, and I think there were six swimmers that did personal best times in the morning preliminaries to get into this final. Tim Zhang, the veteran, 25 years of age, will have lane number eight. He was on the World Student Games team a couple years ago. Next to him in seven will be Phil Marwa, the 22-year-old from Montreal. His sister was a national level swimmer. was actually third in the 200 butterfly at the Olympic trials the last time. Tayden DePaul had a really breakout swim this morning. Looked great. He's from Nanaimo, 18 years of age. First year at UBC, but of course didn't have a varsity season this year because of the pandemic. Cole Pratt, watch for him. He's only 18, but boy, oh boy, has he improved. He's going to be challenging to get a spot on this Olympic team for sure. Marcus Thormeyer made the team four years, five years ago, 2016, but he didn't win the backstroke there. He's known more as a freestyler. Now he's become the national record holder in the backstroke. He's favored to challenge if not win. There's your winner four or five years ago. Javier Acevedo, right from down the street here in Ajax, Scarborough. He won with a world junior record at that trials. Went to the Olympic Games, the youngest man in any sport for Canada at those games. Blake Tierney, 19 years of age from Saskatoon, will have lane two. Rob Hill, the 25-year-old veteran from University of Calgary Swim Club in lane number one, grew up in North Vancouver just graduated from the University of Calgary. Rounding out the field, Richie Stokes, his teammate at the University of Calgary, originally from the powerful Etobicoke swim team in the suburbs of Toronto. He'll have lane number zero. And again on the uh, world scene, uh, Byron, uh, Ryan Murphy with another big win at the uh, U.S. Championships, and he's ready to go there, and that'll be the challenge for the two, or one or two who can get there from Canada. Marcus Thormeyer is pre-selected in the 200 meters. Not this one. There's Javier Acevedo. He's very lucky the Olympics were postponed for a year because he broke his arm last year while he was down at school. So this extra year was certainly needed. Marcus Thormeyer there, the big six foot six guy. He was making junior teams when he was 12. He's been so good for so long. And Cole Pratt will be in lane number five. All right, again, it's zero on the bottom. Your favorites are in three, four, and five. Acevedo, Thormeyer and Pratt. Take your mark. And they are off for the men's 100 meter back. Again, five or six of these athletes at personal events this morning. Let's see what they've got in the tank here in lane four. Good start for Marcus Stormeyer, as well as in lane three, Javi Acevedo. What you've got to look for in the bottom right corner there is 53.85. That's the qualifying time. The swimmer must break that in order to go to the Olympic Games. Coach Tom Johnson told me that Marcus Stormeyer has been changing his stroke just slightly with a biomechanician and it's given him more power. And I think that's exactly true. But watch for Cole Pratt to the left of Stormeyer. There's Cole Pratt now on the left. You can see him in second spot. He has a great finishing kick and he might be able to catch Stormeyer. Stormeyer just slightly ahead of Pratt. And the closer left lane is Stormeyer. Outside is Pratt. They are neck and neck. Close to the wall. of a second difference, but Cole Pratt made it under the time as well. So first two guys both made the time, so they're both provisionally selected. They've known each other for a while. Pratt on the right, Thormeyer on the left, and it was good to be six foot six because he needed that for that extra tenth of a second to be able to beat Cole Pratt. There's Javier on the left, not quite able to reprise that swim that he had at the trials last time for Rio to put him down to the Rio games. And he'll have to sell him for third. Again, the Olympic A standard, 53-85. Both Thormeyer and Pratt under that. 
Thormeyer was a little slow off the blocks, but he's around quickly on the dive. He can, on the turn, I should say. He was the first one down there underwater. We talk about the streamlining. Look at Pratt on the left. He stayed under longer. You're actually faster underwater than you are on the top, believe it or not. Let's let more streamlining in there. Right at the end, Thormeyer reaches for the wall. It looked like his last two strokes. He slowed the cadence down just ever so slightly. But again, that's going to come with a little bit more rest for Tokyo. The big scoreboard's at the far end of the pool, so that's what he was looking back to see exactly if he won or if he didn't win and if he made the time. So Azevedo in third in 54-49. Blake Tierney gets under 55 in that 54-92 in fourth place. Marcus Thormeyer, the champion. Cole Pratt just 14 hundredths behind in second place. That's only five one hundredths off Marcus's Canadian record, so a nice performance for Marcus Thormeyer for sure. They're just waiting for Marcus down on the pool deck. Some of these swimmers have a hard time walking when they get out of a race like this. Their legs hurt so much. I can see Marcus bending over trying to <laughs> trying to collect himself as we get ready for the interview. No doubt about it. That's for sure. Men's 100 meter back winner is Marcus Thormeyer and he's standing by with Devin Haru. I uh, uh, just got the, uh, the green light from Marcus Ross. Well. 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 He was hunched well. over here with Byron Sink well. catching his breath. Uh, Marcus, you were pushed in this race, race, and you laid down a great time. How does it feel that you finally be at these trials? Yeah, that's, that's yeah, the problem. Uh, okay, then just play another way. Feels great. No, like, um, yeah. Here a damn thing. As you behold here, you are alive. Well, he will be. You, everybody will be very shortly. Learning the Narsi. Yeah. Yeah. Excited, 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 excited. Trying, trying to like, trying to like, like you're nervous. Here, here, here. Here. Being, being nervous, being nervous. We can't hear you. We just say we can't hear you. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> great, great swim. Your bad uh, describes uh, us. Uh, who knows the, the, who knows the uh, hand sign? I can't hear. <laughs> 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 Toronto, like, like, like over a month ago, and I did a little like stop by, stop say hi before I left. And usually, and usually at least, at one, least of one of my family members is here to watch me. And it's like really nice to look in the stands and see them. Obviously, that can't happen, so seeing them here is, really means a lot. I don't think we're they're able to hear us. Oh. Uh, but, but but maybe just tell us about that support and what it can mean. And and you know we just saw Kylie set a Canadian record. She hugged Taylor. There's a cohesive group here, and to be back together, what that means to this team. Um. Well, just like I don't think anyone can do anything alone. I think you always need someone there to support support you when you're at your low, and obviously you support others around you, and just like stronger together kind of thing. Uh, and and lastly, Marcus, before this, you talked about, you know, now being sort of a little bit of a senior on this and remembering what it was like to be pushing those older guys. And now you have these junior swimmers <laughs> pushing you. Yeah. This is what this is all about, right? Building a program and being pushed. And, and it also, in turn, helps you push harder. Yeah. Like, Cole's right there, so like, I don't know, I think he's still in high school or something, and he's like, see him. Uh, it feels good, I think, 2019 trials, I was like, not, like, he was a bit farther away, but now it's like, someone's like right there with me, and I'm like, whew, he's pushing me, and I think I'm also pushing him, just like a competitive dynamic is always fun when it's healthy, and I think he has a great swimming future ahead of him, and I'm going to keep on pushing him, and he's going to keep on pushing me. Well, like you said, Marcus, stronger together and two strong swims today. Thanks for doing this. Congratulations. Thank you.